Girls of Reddit. What do you think is the strangest thing about guys? Deleted. How violently guys greet each other. Fist bumps are gentle. I swear. Not the ones I've seen some guys do. They're like hand to hand punches. Can confirm. Source. Broke a mate's hand on accident once. Something smells really bad and a guy says dude. This smells awful. Here smell. Holds out for his bud who actually smells it. I don't know why guys do this. It's weird. Yeah man. That reeks. Yes. He just told you. It's funny. It's so we can bond over the bad smell. Yeah you don't want to be 3 weeks down the line and have your buddy Joe say yeah her kitten stank like. Enter example here. And not have any idea what the duck it smelled like. They openly talk about defecation and or the massive dump they just had. Talk? Words will fail you. Why talk about it? When you can show them. Photos are where it is at. Document that shit. The award committee needs visual verification before you can get a prize. Document that shit he. That guys refuse to order girly drinks even if they admit they taste good. Is it really that important to look manly that you'll deprive yourself of delicious food? Actually. That the idea of girly drinks exists at all. Seriously. What idiots try to drink? And when this shit is delicious. Clearly this and all drinks like it are meant just for women. Edit. No. I am not indicating you drink beer and whiskey but think it's disgusting, though some of you do. I love the taste of beer. Rum. Whiskey. All of it. But if you enjoy bacon. Are you not also allowed to enjoy pie? Why no Lowe's DOS? Yes. I am aware that some people simply don't like the taste of sweet drinks. That is not the issue I am referring to here, peas. If your girly drink you tried that one time tasted like syrup. It likely wasn't made right. You can drink a fruity drink and then drink a beer or rum. Drinking a matei doesn't force you to stick to mateis all night. I refuse to order them anymore because I puke every time after the 15th one. I refuse to order them anymore because I puke every time after the 15th one. I think I might have found the problem. Yeah. He's not drinking enough. That's why he had to stop with the girly drinks. Strange and practical, that if you put your hand right next to their balls, if you look really closely you'll see them slowly moving away from the threat. Edit. Thank you to those who clarified that this actually occurs to maintain temperature due to sperm viability. It's actually more about the heat. They're supposed to stay in a fairly narrow temperature range for optimum sperm production. If it's cold out they'll tuck up close to the body. And if it's warm out they'll hang down further. A warm object like a laptop on your lap will make them move away. And a slightly less warm object like a hand groin heat reflected off a hand will make them move away more slowly. I'm likely to punch you very hard before I allow this to happen. I've had my acons grabbed by a random girl in a club who thought I made fun of her friend. That will never happen again. If someone ever threatens with. I will demolish them. I just imagined a drunk girl trying to be seductive. Gently rubbing her hand up your crotch. Only to receive a swift uppercut to the chin. Their priorities. For example my husband doesn't care if anything is clean. As in not filthy. But he goes nuts if something is unorganized. The fridge can have shit caked on the shelves but he fusses over not being able to find his special mustard. I just don't get it. When a man needs his mustard. He needs his goddamn mustard. Utility versus aesthetics. I'd rather be able to find everything than search for it. Edit. None of you are clever. Then all then is something Reddit has trained you to notice and someone has already commented on it. Where the hell do testicles go when you sit on a bicycle? Our weight is supported on our ass cheeks. The balls kind of rest on the front of the seat. From what I've seen on here. Guys tend to underestimate how low a vagina is. But girls seem to underestimate how forward the penis is on the pelvis. This is something I just wrote. I'll be over there re-evaluating my life choices. When I fingered a girl for the first time I was astounded at how far my hand had to creep down to get to the vagina. I was actually worried I may have been touching her a-hole. 
Go on. They barely ever seem to get cold. My ex could stand out in the snow bollock naked and still not be cold. Edit. Some of these replies prove it to me. Men are just weird. Yes. This is work every day. I, male, always come into the office. Turn my desk fan on full blast and fill my water bottle. I look over and my cube mates, two females, are there wrapped in blankets, literally. One girl even has USB powered heater mittens for typing. I need those USB powered heater mittens. Now. Priorities are straight. Why don't guys wipe when they pee? I mean the tip is probably a little wet from pee. Do you just ignore any urine that gets on your underwear? Shaking it can't totally get all the pee off. There's no way I could just shake the pee off of my parts. Edit. I absolutely love that this is my most replied to comment. Mostly. We just shake the excess out. And then just admit to ourselves that we won't be able to get everything. All the time. There will always be that extra drop that ducks us over. We just have to accept it. I'm surprised nobody's dropped in to give the jab yourself in the team to get the last drops out advice yet. Reddit loves that trick. I'm not going to be that weird guy that looks like he's masturbating in public urinals. Recently my girlfriend discovered that if I need to pee when I'm pooping I will do it sitting down. This amazed her. She asked her brother if he did too. She still isn't over the fact that guys pee sitting down when pooping. Why wouldn't we? I mean. It's already right there pointed down into the toilet. Are we supposed to stand up to pee and then sit back down? Sometimes to reassure myself I'm a man I will hold the poo. Stand up. And take a piss standing up like a man. You are now tagged as holds the poo. How brutally honest guys are to each other. A guy will go to the gym and lose weight all because his friends called him a fat piece of shit. The world would stop turning if girlfriends were that honest with each other. Women not being honest or blunt freaks me the duck out. I would oftentimes watch my ex have this awkward verbal dance with her female roommates instead of just being honest. Why does hey Jane can you take out the trash? Need to take two weeks of hints and gestures? Meanwhile my ex comes to me to complain about G not taking the trash out. I'm sure this isn't all women but you when I see it happen it blows my mind. Ducking yes. A good female friend of mine constantly complains about how one of her roommates refuses to clean up. Have you talked to her about it? Well she should know. Meanwhile I just got done telling my roommate that if he doesn't do the dishes he'll wake up on a piss and shit soiled pillow. Why can't everyone be this blunt with each other? It can be that honest. But most of the time it is as a joke. Most guys tend to acknowledge their faults and will work on them. Having a friend mention it might be as a jab. But it also probably points out something he already knew. It can be destructive but it also helps. I feel like sometimes when it comes to body language or non-verbal communication some men don't seem to identify when someone is upset or angry. Or they do but just might not know what to do about it. The way I see it is that if I'm upset or angry, I either want to be left alone about it. Which is why I haven't brought it up. But I still can't help but show some body language that I'm mad. Or, will bring it up directly with you. But usually only if there's actually something you can do to help the situation. We understand this about each other. If a buddy just had a bad breakup. The rule is not to bring it up unless they do. Even if they're giving off strong signals that they're upset inside. And we just assume the same of women. That if you wanted to talk to us about why you're upset. You would come to us directly and bring it up. Penis holes are actually slits. My first boyfriend couldn't stop laughing when I stopped midhead and literally gasped. Please don't say slits and penis holes in the same sentence. Cringes. Having a stick hanging between their legs. For some reason that's just mind boggling to me. Having a hole between your legs that my stick fits in. See we're both weird. But the hole is compact and stuff. Just everything us girls have is tucked in. Oh wait but then the boobs stick out. Yeah it's just all weird. That just makes it more confusing to us. We have enough trouble fitting all of our organs into our torso. 
Then you go and fit a few more in and manage to look thinner than us at the same time. I'm a short skinny guy. But a lot of you are thinner than me even at the same height. Do you just not need as much liver as I do? The fact that anytime you put a few of them together, action happens in some form or the other. Girls don't do this. But I wish we did. Leave like 5 girls together and we'll talk, leave 5 guys. And weird shit happens. It's very entertaining though. Wait. I thought 5 girls left alone together always had pillow fights in their underwear? Everything I know is a lie. Pink dolphins live in the Amazon. Now you know a truth. Best comment of the day. My second year going to a boy scout camp event was the only time I heard about anything that was NSFW 3 kids, all boys, were sent home when they decided to have a threesome in the showers. Yeah. I was happy that I wasn't the one to find that.